The PGA Tour returned to mainland America for the Humana Challenge. La Quinta, California played host to a star-studded event formerly known as the Bob Hope Classic. While Dustin Johnson was the highest-ranked player in the field, it was another Johnson creating a stir. A win in a top ten had put Johnson Wagner on top of the FedEx Cup standings. You know, I, I worked out for the first time in the off-season this off. Well, not the first time. I did it a couple of years ago, but I uh, worked out hard this time uh, with a trainer. And I, I, you know, maybe I lost a little weight. Maybe it gave me a little more confidence. Um, plus, uh, it's weird to say, but you know, getting such a thick skin from the, you know, the heckling I've been getting by my friends with the mustache just kind of gave me self-confidence, like I, I really don't care what other people think, I'm going to do what I'm going to do because I believe it's the right thing, so I just have more self-confidence. And Johnson joins an illustrious list of players with moustaches who've had an impact on the game. Uh, it's, it's amazing that an awful moustache like this could, could you know, garner so much attention. It's, uh, it's pretty funny, all the trouble I've been getting for it for the entire winter and now I'm you know, now it's kind of defining me, but it's uh, it's cool and it's uh, I'm excited for the attention. While Johnson's wife is against the facial growth, with his recent form, he insists it won't be coming off anytime soon. It's been something of a lucky charm so far. I told my wife I'd cut it off if I uh, didn't get into the Masters. I was going to cut it off. If I if I got into the Masters, I was going to keep it for a while, at least hopefully the whole year. And while he's booked his place at Augusta and soared into the world's top 100, Johnson's ambitions aren't stopping there. I've been thinking about it all winter. Mark Wilson won the Sony Open and then in Phoenix, and he went from 212 in the world to top 64 and made the match play. So I think short term would be to try to do something in my next three starts to get me into the match play. Match plays on the mind of all Americans, not just this 31-year-old from North Carolina. With the Ryder Cup in Chicago this year, it's now a realistic goal. Uh, yeah, Ryder Cup would be, you know, it's 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 hard to think about that, and I've had people tell me already in the last couple of days that uh, to get on a Ryder Cup team, you can't think about it. You just have to go out and play and, and, and try to do the best you can every week and, and let, you know, things like making a Ryder Cup team take care of themselves. If you press for it, then you're going to find yourself on the outside looking in. A proud American, he would welcome the chance to travel more across the globe, especially considering a highlight of his career came on the old course at St Andrews. I've had one opportunity in the last couple of years to play in Europe, and that was the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship last October. And went over there with another American guy, J.J. Henry, uh, and an Amer a couple of American amateurs invited us over to go play. And it was, you know, I'm like I said, I'm proud to be an American, but the European Tour, you know, does a lot of things really well. And I had so much fun. We stayed in St. Andrews. The people were incredible. The golf courses were, I mean, I I'll never complain about tight fairways again after playing St. Andrews. Those things were like, playing off a cart path. It was uh, it was a different kind of golf. I would love to play in Europe. I've, I've always wanted to. I just you know, haven't had the opportunity to. And perhaps the European galleries will be a little more accepting of Johnson's new look, complete with a moustache, which seems to have transformed his fortunes this year and made him the butt of so many jokes back home. We were on the uh, 18th tee box. I was getting ready to hit, and someone said, uh, I wasn't over the ball or anything, and someone said, the 1960s called, they want their mustache back. And <laughs> I looked over at my caddy, Matt, and we just started chuckling. It, 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 it lightened the mood considerably with uh, you know, the tournament on the line on the 18th hole. It was, it was pretty funny. And Johnson was laughing again this week as he tied for second place at the Humana. Crikey, at this rate, razors may become a thing of the past on the PGA Tour.